in this particular session i am going to cover how to uh, log in this uh, web page okay uh, using the ui uh, activities okay uh, so now we have a test login page and uh, that is a sample web page that you can check it in the practice uh, test automation website and uh, now uh, so see here this is the uh, test cases so here the positive test login like uh, open a page and type a username student into username field type a password then uh, push a submit button okay then you will successfully hit into website so the same negative uh, there, is, there is a negative scenario as well what if i enter the incorrect username what if i incorrect i mean i enter the incorrect password so those things we need to handle so slowly we also handle those uh, negative scenario as well so now we will handle the positive scenario and go back to ui path studio and uh, create a new sequence that is let's say, let's say pta login enter and now i am going to use the classic activity so for the full classic activity okay so go here and if you type ui automation okay and there is a classic activities drag and drop open browser activity okay then go back to your browser and uh, just copy this url and come to your uh, ui path studio here within double quote add your uh, url okay once it is done and uh, then what you have to do you have to type something as into username field right then uh, go to here in the activity panel type okay enter type uh, into this activity panel there is a modern type into and classic type into okay drag and drop this classic type into and indicate on the screen okay the username i'm now i'm going to indicate on the username field okay click on it now i want to pass my username let's say you have a uh, assign activity uh, that is uh, to store a username okay so here you can tell that uh, you can name it user name and uh, so here you can call username okay user name and you can call your variable that is username and what is the username here so if you go here and uh, the your name username will be student okay copy this and go back to studio and uh, paste it within double quotes okay no password okay so let's say you know i am going to uh, so okay, let's complete this one first so here i'm going to uh, call my uh, username here username variable that is username okay that's it that's done next i want to type password okay i want to type password and uh, see here the type password there is a option type secure uh, text okay but if you use the modern activity there is, if you see the modern activity there is no type secure password instead of that so if you drag and drop this one and you will get here uh, standard or secure option okay so delete it but here in the classic there are two different activities to handle it so drag and drop type secure and uh, now in to indicate where i want to type my password then click on indicate and uh, so this is the place i want to enter my password click here and how to pass my password here it will accept only secure string okay as a input so for that i am going to search for an activity that is called get password okay so because here i am going to pass i uh, my password manually okay so that's the reason there is an activity get password and use this get password and here you see password field if you type something it will be in the star okay and nobody knows my password go back to your browser okay here it what is the password password one two three okay go back to your studio and type password one two three okay let's assume that no you have a different password for your uh, uh, logging in your facebook or instagram something like that so that time 
uh, if you are giving a demo if others don't want to see your password you can use this get password activity and in the result it will uh, give you the encrypted password as a string okay control k and you can uh, tell that no password okay now you see there is a variable created with a string data type so can i pass this string data type into here in this place password no okay because it will accept only secure string okay i cannot pass the um string this string type of value here so what i have to do i can convert this uh, string password to um, secure password uh, data type okay go here drag and drop and uh, assign activity and uh, so this is for uh, conversion secure conversion secure uh, password conversion okay and here and i am going to create a one more variable that is secure password secure password that is that not it's not a string data type go to browser for type here you can type secure uh, string okay so there is a system dot secure uh, string select on this system dot security dot uh, secure uh, string then now click ok and now you call your variable uh, that is a uh, secure password now here and there is a lengthy uh, uh, syntax okay syntax in the sense of the code okay so you have to remember whenever you use this uh, um, password kind of things okay and uh, so start type new system dot net dot network credentials open bracket string okay str in the string dot empty okay empty empty comma here you can call your variable password then close your bracket and dot secure password okay so see here this is the uh, syntax for to convert your password string password into secure password this string dot empty if there is any uh, space between in this uh, particular this you can uh, this will uh, make it empty okay so now click ok now you see uh, there is gone now the secure password i am going to pass secure password here in the secure uh, secure text that is the secure password okay now everything is done now i am going to click on push button click activity that is the classic activity and indicate on the screen i want to click this submit button okay click on it okay let click on uh, run file so now you see my page is executed it's entered the username and password then uh, it's uh, successfully logged in Okay, so this is how it works. And